Saturday before Memorial Day, so we've got to talk to you about barbecue. I got two <laughs> gentlemen here who can definitely do that. Uh, from John Tom's Barbecue, and we joked last hour that you're not John <laughs> or Tom, but there's a connection there. Please introduce yourselves and let us know who John Tom is. I gotta know. So I'm Lafay Pegues, Rodney Robinson, and we have a third partner, Tara Cooper, who's not here, but he's in Michigan. Gotcha. Okay. And John Tom is our grandpa, oh. and that's where all this started. He had a secret sauce. Never wrote the recipe down. <laughs> that and was nice. Yeah, that was oh, nice of him. Yeah. Um, and I started trying to recreate it years after his death and ended up coming up with this version of it. And you decided to go into business with that too, not just create grandpa's recipe, but start a full on mm -hmm. restaurant chain and barbecue says, how did that all happen and how did you find that success? Well, I, I never intended to start a business. I was just trying to make his sauce because the family missed it. So I never right. intended to start a business. And the more people tasted it, the more people asked me if I was ever going to do something with it. So I started believing that, hey, I might have something. Mm -hmm. And um, Terrell, our third partner, uh, who was my first cousin, I, I had told him that I was going to start this business. He asked if I needed help. I said, absolutely, because he has a marketing background. Mm -hmm. And then um, I asked Rodney if he wanted to be a part of it. Um, he tasted it. It was like, I'm, I'm on board. I figured you needed to do that first, right, Rodney? You got to taste it. So I got I to gotta figure out if this thing is worth selling or not. So, uh, you can talk about it long exactly. enough. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but it's turned out fantastic. You feel like you got the recipe down, or at least one that people love and John Tom would approve of. He, he would approve of it. It's not his sauce, but I, I think he'd be, he'd be proud. How would you describe it? Give me a couple adjectives for somebody who's never tasted your classic original sauce. Tangy, sweet. The original, the Sneaky Hot, which is our best seller, is more of a, um, it's a, it's a even, smooth flavor with okay. a tinge of heat, and then the Hoosier heat has more of a, um, uh, it's, it's hotter, but it's a respectable heat, so you definitely can have it on your, on your foods. I love hearing people describe food. That's just, <laughs> that's just fantastic, especially ahead of Memorial Day weekend when so many mm -hmm. folks are looking for some sense of normalcy right during right, the pandemic. Right. They're thinking, well, in my own backyard, socially distant, I can at least right. barbecue. Um, how can they get a hold of your barbecue sauce if they want to support you as a local business mm -hmm. uh, and also have some sneaky hot <laughs> or Hoosier heat coming in on their Memorial Day weekend? Well, the, uh, your easiest option is going to be um, our website, which is johntomsbbq.com. Um, you can order from there or there's a list of retail stores that carry our, our products and we're in Kroger, Fresh Time, Target, a lot of local um, establishments. So it'll have a list mm -hmm. to let you know where you get you can find it. And if you go to the the big retail stores, we are located in the Indiana Grown section, the local section. Uh -huh, okay. So Perfect. a lot of people go to the the national brands and the they don't find section. it. It's not there. It's in the local section. It's going to have the big asterisk next to it, the sparkles, yeah, the, the highlight light. on yeah, it. Yeah, the course. light will shine <laughs> on it. Local businesses <laughs> will lead you there. Man, fantastic. And you do have physical locations as well for folks to come and actually go in person too. So that's great. And yeah. Actually, well, we don't we don't have storefronts ourselves. Your um, your restaurant setup though. We don't have, a, we're not a oh, restaurant. I confused then. No, 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 that's okay. Gotcha. Most people assume we do have a restaurant because. You just have folks provide their meats and you provide the food. You provide the meat and we'll take care of the sauce. <laughs> Put the sauce on whatever you want. Doesn't matter. <laughs> that's, that's giving folks some option here. Marcus will right. put it on ice cream. If <laughs> Listen, I said when they came no in, idea. that whole tub that they have right The big one in the back. I can just envision myself on the couch and I'll just find whatever I can and just dip it all the way in. Good stuff. Thanks for coming. Yeah,